Fans of Aquaman have been on the edge of their seats waiting for The Lost Kingdom to come out. It has been hit with an array of delays, on-set drama, and controversy that nearly broke the internet, but is still looking to prevail once it hits the box office this winter. With whispers about a potential trilogy, let's get into it. Jason Momoa's Aquaman costume was highly anticipated, and for a good reason. The design for the Lost Kingdom costume sticks pretty closely to the original comic book design, even though the color design is different. Sorry my calves are so big that you can't zip it. It's a problem I have at home. While a lot of people were skeptical in the beginning about the original orange and green suit, the costume designers managed to pull it off pretty nicely. I feel like Patrick Swayze right now. <laughs> The most notable switch-up for the Lost Kingdom design was the darker, more mysterious version of the hero's original suit. The updated costume features a lot less protective spikes, a more squared shape over the chest, and a more notable sense of armor around the legs and five armor plates on each thigh. The shoulder pieces are also separated, which gives the suit a fresh, distinctive look. There's also the gloves. The original suit had a lot of spiked finger protectives, while the new version only showcases three. What do you think about the Switch? There were a ton of delays and false starts when this movie was being made, mostly because of COVID and an array of online chatter surrounding the film's cast. This was around the time when Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were having their high-profile defamation trial, so there was a lot of controversy surrounding Amber Heard at this time. According to notes from her therapist that fans of Johnny Depp paid to have released from court, the Aquaman set was rather hostile for her. With an allegedly intoxicated Jason Momoa dressing up like Johnny Depp and pushing to get her cut from the film, it's unclear whether her drastically reduced role was because of her infamy or because of her lack of chemistry with Jason Momoa. Director James Wan had to learn new techniques of keeping calm to stay grounded. Quote, I've had to learn to be more zen in dealing with all the noise around me for sure. I'm a pretty private person. I don't get on social media and have fights, but it's difficult because this narrative has emerged that is not the reality. There were also about seven days of reshoots, which isn't uncommon for a film of this size, but it took so long because it ended up being spread out to accommodate all the actors' busy schedules. Regardless of all the delays and cast drama, the door is definitely still open for a trilogy in the future. James Wan, though he's directed a wide array of films, has said that he would love to direct a third film in the Aquaman franchise because he's never gotten to do something like that in his career yet. Quote, I'd be open to doing another Aquaman if I got the same freedom I've had on these first two. I'm not sure what direction Gunn and Saffron are going in, though, so who knows? I've learned to never say never. He's also learned to accept that, regardless of what he wants in a movie, the films will never turn out the way he initially envisioned them. Something you might not know is that Jason Momoa has always wanted to be a writer. He even wrote a 50-page treatment for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Why did you want to be on that side of it? Because actors get treated so much better than writers. <laughs> he wanted to give it a try because he feels so connected to the character. He's literally been playing him for the last 12 years now, but even so, it was one of the most vulnerable moments of his career. Like I said, he's always wanted to be a writer, but it wasn't something that he's even gotten to explore throughout all of his years working as an actor. You gotta put your heart out there, but I'm like, I'm doing this is what I would, would love to do. The training for the movie was unsurprisingly extensive throughout the course of filming, which lasted around six months. You gotta lift and pick up heavy things and put them down, yeah. <laughs> There was a lot of physical preparation for all the actors, mostly to make sure they didn't hurt themselves while filming scenes. So because you put those suits on 40 pounds on top of what already is 260, it's any movement, it's just added weight. During all this prep, swim training, lifting, and meal prepping, Jason Momoa and Aquaman have gotten pretty intertwined. You could say he has been in Aquaman training mode for the past 12 years. I do swim pretty fast. <laughs> Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, regardless of all delays, online rumors, and drama that may have been thrown into the mix, is clearly backed by a dedicated cast and crew, stunning wardrobes, and Jason Momoa's personal perspective on his longest-played character. What's your favorite behind-the-scenes moment?